Hi, short review of a few books I read. Uh, this is Armies of Heaven, uh, The First Crusade and the Quest for Apocalypse uh, by J. Rubenstein. It's uh, basically, well, about the First Crusade and uh, it, he looks at it as if an apocalyptic movement. Uh, it was actually very interesting. I, I read it maybe in about two nights. Uh, the only complaint I would have is uh, you got to have at least some knowledge of the Crusades before you go into it. And I don't mean watching uh, a documentary on the Nostradamus channel. That's what I call the History Channel nowadays. Uh, like if you read uh, like Crusades Through an Arab Eyes or you have a few pretty scholarly books, you would, you'll be able to handle it. Just because he doesn't put anything in context, he's more or less looking at it through one, well, through an apocalyptic movement. Uh, very good. Light book, though, unfortunately. Not the most well-made book in the world. Paper's not great. But still, very interesting. Uh, it's about $35 Canadian. A little pricey, but well worth it. This one I picked up used, so I don't know what the actual price is. It's on Clooney with the Abbey Clooney. Uh, it's another, it's Edwin Mullen's book. Another very good book, actually, all the books I read I, can, I highly recommend. Uh, this one, as you can tell, I picked up used. I don't know the actual price of it, but if you can pick it up for about 20 bucks, it's actually very good. Uh, like a lot of Mullins books, the history sometimes gets a bit wonky, but he's very good when it comes to talking about the art and the, uh, and the architecture of Clooney. It's a very interesting book. Flanders Fields, this one right here, I picked up for about 10 bucks because uh, it's it's in the bargain bin, so it's probably in the bargain bin every, everywhere by now. It's just poems from World War One. Uh, in Flanders Fields is the famous uh, Canadian poem that all Canadians' children have to memorize uh, for Remembrance Day. I don't know if I still have it rem memorized. Uh, let me give it a shot here. Uh, in Flanders Fields, the poppies blow between the crosses row on row that mark our place and in the sky the lark still bravely singly fly or singing fly yeah that's it uh case heard amid the guns below we are the dead short days ago we lived we we lived felt dawn saw a sunset glow loved and were loved and now we lie in flanders fields take up our quarrel with the foe to you from falling from falling hands we throw uh, or is it failing? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, the torch be yours to hold it high. It, if ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep though poppies grow in Flanders fields. I'm curious now. That's not bad for considering I haven't done that poem in, well, <laughs> years. So, but we used to have to memorize it. So, uh, from failing hands we throw. Yeah. So, but I always find I'm with poetry in times of upheaval makes the best poems and it really shows and so I would definitely recommend it. This was something I just saw for 20 bucks and just because it was such a beautiful book. <laughs> that and it's hefty, very hefty, very well made. Uh, it's a British book and that's, that's why <laughs> the British always make pretty good books. Uh, this, I, I, it's uh, the Atlas of, of Legendary Lands. It's about fabled kingdoms, phantom islands, lost continents, and other mythical worlds. Uh, I read this in literally a night. It's, abs I didn't think it would be as fascinating as it was. It, not a lot of text, obviously. It doesn't take long to read. Uh, a lot of nice pictures in it, though. Uh, but you can pick it up. I picked it up at the bargain bin for like 20 bucks. And it was really really interesting so another one I kind of recommend